Hello and welcome back to Isolating Teacher and Happy Star Wars Day! May the 4th, just in case you weren't quite sure. Um, let's update on the old uh, weekend. So we, um, I cooked some pork um, and I used a hairdryer on that, on the crackling, on the skin to make sure it's nice crackling. That worked beautifully, I couldn't stop eating it. That big yellow thing that I showed you a few weeks ago, okay? was a rear engine mount. Of course, everyone knew that. Um, so I replaced that this weekend. Took me about an hour, hour and a half, all in. Um, bit awkward getting under the car, but I was gonna film that, but it wouldn't have been pretty. Did a family call um, over Zoom. Um, so that was fun. Rex has the sort of mind that as soon as you say something, he has to then go and do it. You say gorilla mask, he does gorilla mask. left the building. Replaced a uh, plug socket um, to put a USB one in. Got the live wire, okay, which is brown. See there's an L there, maybe? Two browns. Two browns, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this little funny one, which is green and yellow. That's our earth, okay. And then our N is blue. Any idea what the N could stand for, maybe? Water. Or N. <laughs> it actually links to water in the sense that it is neutral just like water. So can you see on the new one, mm -hmm. can you it's see there's the an, N. it's got the N for L. the L. E, E for Earth. Earth, good boy. Well done Maisie as well. So we got to match up the L, the N and the E with the L, the mm -hmm. N and the Earth. But like all jobs that you start, it's never quite as simple as it seems. So I had to end up fitting the socket here instead because the gap for the back of this uh, socket uh, there wasn't enough space in the kitchen because the tiles weren't cut away enough um, so not too much sweat swearing but just the, the right amount in the kitchen where they've obviously had it redone at some point the tiles go into the socket a little bit and it didn't quite fit in and it was really, really annoying. Recorded a podcast with my brother. Um, he has a podcast called Car Matt's Car Chat. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so that you can um, listen to any of those. I believe that my, the one that I'm on will be going live in a few weeks time. Hello and welcome to another episode of Matt's Car Chat. Today we are attempting to do a interview style podcast with my brother Rob. Hello. But if you can't wait that long, um, I will also put in the description below a uh, spreadsheet of all the cars that I've driven and all the cars I've owned, just because that might be fun for you to see. You can even rank them based on how, or what I thought they were like to drive. So today, we obviously did a bit of Joe Wicks PE. That's the point. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. Sonic. Sonic shuffles. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And some schoolwork. Too easy. Which is, what's 10 minus one? Nine. 
Nine, good boy. So what's the last one? Yeah, so what's 10 minus four? Brain. Brain? Yeah. 10 minus four is not brain. Even though they show what words are spoken, you still need punctuation. Right, hold out ten fingers. And now put four of them away. Count them down. Six. Six. Smashed it. You what is Leo saying? He's hungry. So you need to put it at the beginning of what he says and at the end of what he says. Right. Well, or did Leo say said Leo? No, what did he say? He said, I'm hungry. Okay, what about Emma? What did she say? Okay. So highlight the words that should have, that should be in inverted commas. So, oh, I thought it was at the beginning and the end. So what, so what does Emma say? So that needs to be in inverted commas then. So click on all the verbs. Also, Maisie, if you look at the bottom, it says it's out of eight, and you've got eight words, so check. Lovely stuff. That's all the words that should be inside inverted commas. Woohoo! In terms of work for me, the returns for students completing work last week actually went down. Um, don't know what that is, nobody's actually said anything. It's mostly the same students, but there's a few that just haven't submitted anything um, this week, but they did the first week. Um, so to try and engage a little bit more, I have created a 10 question quiz that sums up the work that I've sent home. So rather than the student sending me an email to say, this is the answer to question one, this is the answer to question two, um, it's just do this quiz, log in, I'll know you've done it, bish bash bosh. I've created the 10 question quiz using Microsoft Forms. Um, so it should collate all the responses using the, um, my, the office uh, email addresses that the students have at school. Hopefully, that will increase the update. I don't know, we can see. Um, oh, schoolwork for the kids today. We did some reading, but we did it to Nanny and Grandad over Alexa, which was nice. Mess, mess, and he really didn't like cleaning. Sweeping the floor. There was no sign of grandma. There was only a song thrush sitting on one chimney, pots singing a song. And obviously, because it is Star Wars Day, okay, we did do some Star Wars based items, such as making Star Wars characters out of toilet rolls. Here are our finished Star Wars toilet rolls. Can you guess who they all are? And obviously watch the latest Star Wars film, episode nine. I always read that bit and then... I was watching. Mm -hmm. Here is today's console, the Xbox One. This one specifically, the One S. I did have a big fat one, but it um, knackered out. So we've got the One S today uh, with a variation of controllers. These are the games that we have installed, okay? Um, and a few extra ones down there as well. Here are all the games that I've previously had installed or are still currently installed, um, or at least it's a selection of them. Maisie, don't you press it as well. Where is everyone then, Maisie? Let's have a look at everyone. So, I have gone to sleep. Oh, there you are. The dead. sink is exploding. No, the sink's repaired now. Yeah. Look, it's 
Oh, what in the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Rex is eating yeah. like cereal. Daddy. Let's have a, let's zoom in, Maisie. Zoom in. Look at bit bit. Let's have a look at people. Yeah, Rex I'm wearing. Oh, well done, Rex. Good boy. And Daddy's waiting outside. Yeah, in my shorts. And you're uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm uncomfortable. Right, where's oh, and there's the exploded sink. Sink. Yeah, and where's Mummy? Oh, there's Mummy walking around the house in her Gosh, swimming costume. Oh, oh, just to the back side of them. There's Thank side you. of Daddy. We're going to look at Daddy. Oh, no, wolf. wrong way. There sneaker. we go. There we go. I've got a little monkey. And there's, where's, where's Mummy gone? She's gone to sleep. Oh, she's gone to sleep. That doesn't sound, that sounds like Mummy exactly. I'm ah. going really fast, everyone. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just going to crash it. Everywhere. I don't want to crash. I don't want to crash everywhere. Ah. I'm going fast. Okay. And I'm a rat. Let's just follow the arrow. I made up a little reveal. Oh, I'm going to smash you. Go and get it. Go get it. Oh no. Oh, well, you forgot pig. the cars can't go in water. I forgot. Oh, I wanted to ride the pig. Hi, matey. <laughs> I want to ride the pig. Where is the pig? Oh, I can't ride my little piggy. Piggy! Can go and ride the pigs. Piggy, come back here. Piggy, piggy. Oh, I thought Rex was going to do it then. Go on, Rex. Oh, not quite. Instead, I'm going to ride a bike. Okay, ride a bike then. Hello. Hi there, riding a bike. Yay! Right, pause it, mate. Oh, you're on a pig. I want a piggy, I want a piggy, I want a piggy, I want a piggy. Come on. Go for it, fight Rex, fight! Who's, who's the panda? Me. And who's the big bear? Me. Oh. This is your last call for any questions that you may have for me because I'll be recording the answers on Wednesday. So any questions that you feel you need to know the answers to for Wednesday, please. I think that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And until that, until Wednesday, stay safe.